Hey, what's happening, guys? Coming to you live from the bench tonight. I'm bringing you a quick uh, video tonight. Uh, this is the final on my 69 Nova. Uh, painted in Buster's Custom Colors, Midnight Metallic Blue. I made it for the Lowrider community, but I wanted to see it on a muscle car, so here it is. You can see it changes light uh, quite drastically in the different lights. And uh, we'll get started on the regular video in here in just a second. God bless. What's happening, everyone? Brian coming to you from the photo booth with a final. I finished up the Nova that I've been working on. Let's get it uh, turned on here so you guys can see it. That is uh, Buster's Custom Colors Midnight Blue Metallic. Uh, this one, I, I'm, I designed this paint for a lowrider. Um, I mean, it's got a ton of flake in it. And it's uh, really, really pops in the light. Uh, but I kind of wanted to see it on a muscle car, so I threw it down on the Nova. I really had a, a lot of fun building this one. I've been wanting to do a Nova for a while. Those are 3D printed uh, Krager mags, 19s and 20s. I did a uh, 3D printed um, LS632 motor in it with a, a Tramac transmission. I did a, a 3D printed steering wheel. Um, the front seat is 3D printed as well. It's a bench seat. Uh, it's something that I just wanted different. And the kit that I used, which was the SS, did not have the uh, 3D printed, uh, or excuse me, not the 3D printed, but the bench seat itself. So that's an option that you can get in the Copo, but not in the SS version. Uh, I had a lot of fun with the kit. It's a nice kit. Of course, I flocked it. I custom mixed the interior color. And it kind of gives me a, a little bit of a nostalgia on the Eddie Bauer edition that you used to see on the, the old Fords. Uh, the, the custom mix that I did for the tan and the, that dark blue really just uh, show off the, the uh, paint. Like I said, I mixed this uh, especially for lowriders. Um, made it for the lowrider community. It has got a ton of flake in it. It comes out in the light. If you get it in the light, it is a entirely different vehicle. And I might have to take it down into the uh, the actual uh, outside light so you can see it. We'll pop the hood off here so you guys can see that as well. I put some felt on it uh, to give me that. There's a uh, 3D printed uh, master cylinder. Um, we did, uh, of course, braided hoses on this one. Electric fan is 3D printed. You can see my shifter and stuff in there and, and the detail I did. Uh, on there, but yeah, it's a little dusty, but uh, the paint job is uh, I'm very happy with. Um, I got one little nib there in the door that you can see that I need to wet sand out still. But uh, photo etch on the uh, the emblems there. Did not put a front plate on it, but I did use a zoom on uh, license plate that I put on the rear of the car. Uh, put uh, Pegasus uh, brake uh, disc brakes on it. Like I said, those are Krager mags, 3D printed. There's your zoom on plate, and you can see it's it's embossed. It's not just flat, so you can actually have texture to it. And again, super super uh, metallic. A lot of metallic in this paint. There's the uh, the hood, so you can see it as well. And uh, I'll probably take this outside so you guys can see it in the sunlight because it is a beautiful day out here in Washington. Uh, I live in Washington State, for those that didn't know. But uh, we'll take this outside real quick and we'll continue the video. Hang on just a second. So I added some few uh, videos, or excuse me, uh, pictures that I took outside. And uh, we'll add those to the video for you. Uh, so you can see the, the metallic that pops in this paint when it goes out into the sunlight. If I turn down the lights in here, you can see that it gets uh, darker and darker. It is a true deep metallic blue play with the lights here a little bit so you guys can see the different colors on it we'll take these down to just a little bit of nothing and you can again it goes to that deep dark metallic blue so that's the final on my nova um update on El Poncho. El Poncho is currently sitting over on the bench having to redo some body work after 
attempting to put on some fingernail um, decals to use as patterns and they just didn't adhere right and uh, let some paint bleed through so I stripped it down and we're restarting on it I uh, just started sanding the um, the Laguna Chevelle from uh, uh, Coach Builder uh, 3d file I'll go over here and see if we can get some of that there's uh, the tow truck that I just printed out as well uh, there's the stripped down El Poncho. It uh, will be in back in primer tonight. Here is the uh, Laguna. You see I started sanding, wet sanding it. Uh, I wet sand my resin just like I would do any other body. Uh, I wet sand it out. There you can see the uh, Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra and some wheels that I'm getting ready to release. Uh, you can see there that the uh, Got some uh, Chevy rallies from the 70s that we're going to release out in 19s and 20s. We're going to push those out here in the next week in the Sale Shack. The Sale Shack will be coming back online. For those that haven't heard, I am bringing the Sale Shack back. Um, there is the card for the Sale Shack. It is the back of my shop card. But the uh, Sale Shack will be coming back online in the next couple weeks. I'm having to reload all of my photos. For some reason, they were dumped. So out of... The over 600 kits that had a minimum of four pictures a piece i have to redo all of the pictures so stand by we'll get that up uh, and going when we can uh somebody asked me uh what i used on the wheels of the nova earlier today and uh these are 3d printed here's a they are in raw raw resin form this is revel spray chrome right over the top uh Literally just shot right over the resin, no primer, no nothing. This is uh, Tamiya Rubber Black that's on here for my tires. Uh, I got some tires over here. Got El Poncho's grill that's also sitting over here that was uh, the Rebel spray can after I stripped it and cleaned up the sides of it. Uh, got a couple more uh, paint racks in that have come in. We got a couple new stash ads to uh, to go over as well, and I do have some shot guards, guys. Uh, I will um, they're downstairs. Uh, I will go grab those and get those uh, shout outs as well. Uh, hang on, we'll be right back. And for the shop cards, Dave over at Woody's uh, Scale Model Garage sent me over some shop cards, buddy. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, you're only the second shop card that I have in uh, the Model Hut. We have uh, one from Manny Scale Modeling, and now we have Woody's. And thanks for the kind words on the back there. I appreciate it. Also sent over, it looks like a, uh, a sticker uh, for the bench. So I can put that down here on the bench. Appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate you uh, sending those over. And I will get some uh, paints uh, sent out your way so you can give them a try. See what you think of them. Uh, love to see them on some of your builds. That'd be great. Anyway, guys, that's my, my video for today. I'm going to keep it nice, sweet, and short. Uh, hope you all are having a great week. I know I've been uh, about a week since I've been on here. I've uh, been watching a lot of your videos and I've just been building. So uh, again, thanks for all of you guys uh, putting up your videos and continuing to support the community. God bless to uh, all that uh, out there in this community and prayers to everybody that needs them. Again, again uh, thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to be a part of this community and uh, supporting me in my channel and uh, the way we're growing. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. We are going to be doing some more giveaways here shortly. i uh, got another um, light that we're going to be doing a review on as well as some more tools. But uh, that's that's in the near future. Uh, I'm just having some fun building right now and trying to get my sales shack back up and going. Uh, again, we lost all of our photos uh, when we dumped it. Uh, so it literally took down everything that we had so I'm having to rebuild the entire website from scratch which sucks but you know hey it's part of the game and uh, we'll be getting that back online so you guys can get some deals on some model kits um, I don't carry 30 to 50 dollar kits uh, unless they're they're very very rare and vintage you know for the average builder I'm carrying the 12 to 15 dollar kit so you guys can afford to build them Anyway, guys, that is my uh, video for today. I'm going to go uh, off to the dentist. Yay. Uh, I would rather uh, do just about anything in the world than go to the dentist or the doctor. But I'm uh, off to the dentist, and uh, hopefully you all have a great week. Uh, keep on modeling. Um, we'll see you on the next one. God bless.